Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to cover one of the most commonly used techniques in suturing. The simple interrupted suture. Whether you are a medical student, a nursing student or someone interested in learning more about wound closure, this tutorial is for you. Before we dive into the technique, let's quickly go over what you'll need. A suture kit with appropriate needle holder. Toothed forip, curved needle with suture thread and plain scissors, alright let's get started, now see, this is the jaws of the needle holder, here are suture, needle is held, first of all, you should know how to hold the needle holder. You have to insert your thumb in the upper loop and ring finger in the lower loop. Index finger will stabilize the needle holder from the side and the middle finger will stabilize the needle holder from below. So you have to hold the needle holder like this. After holding, you have to put this log. So this is ratchet. There are three locks here. The more you apply the lock, the more this jaw will hold. The needle tighter. Normally, two locks are sufficient to hold the needle tightly. This is the tip of the needle and this is the swagged end. The needle is held at two-thirds distance from the tip and one-third distance from the swagged end. So here, I will show you holding the needle in needle holder. So in one hand, you have to hold the toothed forcep and on the other hand, you have to hold the needle holder. Start by threading your needle through the tissue at a 90 degree angle. With the help of toothed forcep raise a flap, the needle has to be inserted at 90 degrees. After that, the second flap has to be raised and the needle has to be inserted and taken out in the curve motion at a similar distance. Now you are seeing this is the short end of suture and long end of suture. The first stitch should enter about 3 to 5 millimeters away from the wound edge and exit on the opposite side at a similar distance. Now we will tie the surgeon knot here, needle holder has to be held in one hand and long end of the suture on the other hand and two throws have to be taken over the needle holder. Now with the help of jaw you have to hold the thread means the short end of the suture has to be held and its direction has to be opposite. Now to secure the suture we'll tie a square knot. This is done by making two throws, one in each direction. Start by crossing the ends of the suture then repeat in the opposite direction. Remember, for a square knot, you want the first throw to be in one direction and the second in the opposite direction to prevent the knot from slipping. Making sure the knot will form neatly and trim any excess suture material. Be sure to leave enough suture tail to prevent untying but not too much that it causes irritation or infection. And there you have it. The simple interrupted suture is one of the most versatile techniques in wound closure. It's simple, effective and great for both superficial and deep wounds. With practice, you'll be able to perform this technique with speed and accuracy. If you find this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more medical tutorials. 